right click on the start menu and choose Windows Terminal. Or we can choose the Terminal Admin if we want to do anything that will make any changes. And you'll be prompted to press yes when that happens to open that up to be able to make major changes. All right, so now that we're in the Windows Terminal, we can see that by default, it goes into PowerShell. So there's PS for PowerShell right there. If I want to switch to command for the regular command prompt, I can type in CMD, and then that'll switch me to command prompt. Now you can see that the PS is gone from the left side of the screen. You can also go up to the top where the drop down is, and you have the option to change between PowerShell and command prompt that way. And we also have options to go into Azure Cloud Shell. To get this to work, we'll have to open up this link that you see here, and then we'll have to type in the code that you see here. So I'm going to select that code, and after you do a Control c to copy it, then I'm going to go to the link that you see right here, and I'm going to click to follow that link. And so what it'll do is it will open that up in whatever my default web browser is. In order to get that to work, I need to hit the Control key and then click the link. And we can see it's opening up right now. And I'm going to paste in the code and click Next. Now, you have to have an account already with Microsoft to get this to work. So it's prompting me for an account I've already logged in with. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I use that account a lot of times uh, for my videos. Now, we can see that I've successfully logged in. And you can see that I need to go to shell.azure.com in order to set up my Cloud Shell account. And now it's prompting me when I log in or when I go to this website to switch between either Bash or PowerShell. And Bash is more of a Linux, Unix type of command, and PowerShell is more Microsoft. And now it's saying I've got to have storage mounted in order to make this work. So this takes a look at the pricing. So if I click on View Pricing, I can see what I'm going to be charged for setting up this Shell account. And here we can see the data at rest, snapshots, metadata, things like that, and the different cost per gigabyte. We also see reserve capacity, etc. I'm not going to use much storage, so I'm sure it won't cost much. I'll just click on Create Storage. And if you like, you can go to portal.azure.com. You can always delete that later. And we see the Cloud Shell connection succeeded. Now it's connecting the terminal. And here's my PowerShell command prompt, which I can go ahead and start using. And I'll just go ahead and clear the screen by typing CLS. And I'm going to type in get-date, just to type in one of the commands. And here we can see the date and the time. Now I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to close that and I'm going to reopen it again, Azure Cloud Shell. And I'll hit zero. It's now authenticating. So the difference between the two is the one is going to be online through a web browser and the other is going to be using the particular application, the Windows Terminal application, using this Azure Cloud Shell option that you see here. So now I can type the same type of thing, get dash date, and there it is. If you don't already have an account with Azure, just go ahead and go to portal.azure.com and just click on the sign up button. And you'll need to provide a way of paying for the account. And then once that's done, you'll be able to do the exact same steps that I just did after that. So that is how we set up our Cloud Shell account in Microsoft Azure.